and welcome to Theater 360. I'm Miranda Palumbo, bringing you the latest news from the Broadway community. The Tony Awards continue to search for a host for this year's award season. Veteran host Neil Patrick Harris announced that he cannot host the award show due to his busy schedule. Harris is currently set to perform in Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which begins previews in late March. Having hosted the Tony Awards four times, Harris will get a very different perspective this year. According to BroadwayWorld.com, Harris plans to spend the time off watching the award show with his family. Who do you want to host the 2014 Tony Awards? Tell us what you think by posting in the comments section. Film actors make the transition to Broadway all of the time. Oprah Winfrey will join the list of those stars in the 2013 season. According to Broadway.com, Oprah plans to take the stage opposite five-time Tony Award winner Audrey McDonald in a revival of Night Mother. Under the direction of George C. Wolfe, the show follows a mother trying to talk her daughter out of suicide. We will keep you updated on their rehearsal process. Fans of actor Anthony Rapp failed to contain their excitement when he released a sneak peek of his most recent project. After a radio session with The Green Space about his recent work in If Then the Musical, Rap sang his song, You Don't Need to Love Me. Take a look. Let me be your emergency contact, your occasional plus one, your excuse to take a sick day when the forecast calls for sun. We can keep on being lonely, but we don't have to be apart And I'll never even ask you To let me have your heart So I'll never break your heart No, I'll never break your heart The team has kept quiet about the plot of If Then and Rap maintained the secrecy during his radio interview. This show is one of the most anticipated Broadway productions of 2014 and officially opens at the end of March. Stay tuned for more sneak peeks. Today starts a new segment of Theater 360, Broadway Star of the Week. Each week, I will feature one famous Broadway name, give a little history on them, as well as tell you why they are this week's pick. Director Diane Paulus is this week's feature. Paulus won the 2013 Tony Award for Best Direction of a Musical for Pippin. She currently acts as the Artistic Director for the American Repertory Theatre at Harvard University. Her direction of Pippin, as well as Porgy and Bess, began at the American Repertory Theatre before both shows transferred to Broadway. Most recently, Paulus staged a production of Witness Uganda, which is running until mid-March. While we were on hiatus, Broadway didn't stop. Curious to know what you missed? This video highlights the major stories of the past two and a half months. Take a look. Carly Rae Jepsen's now wearing glass slippers. Spider-Man's in Vegas with all of the strippers. If then had spectators somewhat confused. This is the news that is long overdue. Frozen became a box office champion. A roof collapsed in the Apollo in London. Tadina split up and Fanzels are so blue. This is the news that is long overdue. Sound of Music Live was seen as quite needless. Underwood then tweeted, y'all need some Jesus. Adam sang Wicked at some gay bar too. This is the news that is long overdue. On hiatus, things have happened. Broadway didn't stop. I simply gave you a little recap, and now you are all caught up. That's all the time we have for today. I will see you next week for more Theater 360. Thank you.